Kittle is just packed full of these awesome templates that you can use for print on demand. And in this video, I'm going to give you five tips on how you can modify these designs to suit your print on demand purposes. Okay, I'm going to grab a template here to start. I'm going to pick this one here with the dog, futuristic dog, and I'm going to click use this design. Tip number one is to use texture or to remove texture. So in this case, I'm gonna add in texture. So I'm gonna click on the background and we're gonna see here under settings, the background color pops open. And I'm gonna add in texture now. So I'm gonna go over here to the left hand side. I'm gonna see textures and I'm going to select say a grunge texture. When I select that, you're gonna see that it populates now on top of the entire design. And if you don't like that texture, you can just simply click the background again and you're gonna see the texture now pop in. And you've got an option here where you can just delete the texture. I'll click the delete button and you can see the texture now just gets removed. I've picked another template that's a bit lighter color so you can see this a bit easier as well. I'm gonna go over here to the left and pick textures and then I'm gonna pick another type of texture. In this case, paper textures, show all. I'm gonna scroll on down. I'm gonna pick this one because it's pretty radical here. It's got paper texture. Now you're gonna see it's gonna populate in behind, but you don't necessarily see it on the actual design. If this happens, click the background and you can change the background color now to something else. And you can see sometimes the actual texture will be more visible. So you can see there now the paper's starting to look a bit more visible. And then the other option as well is you can change the opacity of the texture. You can make it darker or lighter. So there's all sorts of options here. In this case, I really like that texture there. There's another feature over on the right called clip content. And what that does is it simply clips the texture onto the actual design, but not the background. So check out the background being blue and it has the texture on it. When I click clip content, you'll see it disappears off of the background, but it stays on the design itself. So that clip content's a really cool feature as well. To undo it, you just simply toggle it off and you can see now the background has it back on. Lots of different options with texture. Tip number two is all about color. So I'm gonna click on another example here. Seeing the color of space, I'm gonna click use this design. So this design looks great, but you can change the color of certain things. If you click on the background, you'll see the background color opens up. I can simply change the color to whatever I like by moving it around inside this little solid color panel. There's also a slider scale over here too. You can change the color that way. And you can also click on anything inside the design. So in this case, the text, I could change the text color. I'll make it yellow, just like that. I'll click seeing, I'm gonna change that to blue, just like that. It's very easy to change the color on stuff. Now there are some things you can't change the color on. In this case, this design is not a vector. It's not changeable in terms of color. So what you can do is you can change it over here to the right on their image tools. You can click image vectorizer. That'll vectorize the image and you're gonna get maybe mixed results. So here it's basically created a silhouette of it and now you could change the color of it if you like. So I would caution, it's not gonna be the exact same if you've got a multicolored design. I'll just click Control Z here to undo that. You can see there, there's multiple colors, but if your design is simple, you can create a vector from it. So make sure to play around with the colors because you can really make your design radically different right away. Tip number three is all about images. I'm gonna select this one over here on the right hand side, Summer Vibes. I love this design, but let's say I wanted to scale it up and create something new out of it. So I like this design, that's great, but let's say I don't want the surfboard, for example. So I'm gonna take the surfboard, click delete, and now I can go over here to the left hand side and I can add in a new design. I can click on elements, I'll click under search, I'll enter summer, and here I can see there's a whole bunch of different designs. I'm gonna click the little surfboard and I can pop that in. Now you'll notice he's on top of the text. If you don't want that, simply right click and go to back and it'll move in behind the design. So you've got these different layers. There's also layers down on the bottom right hand side. You can see that you've got different layers there and you can move stuff around in there as well. I like this a lot. Right click, move to front. And now you've got a completely different design with surfboard guy out and windsurfer guy in. Tip number four is text. I'm gonna click on this design over here, camper van. I love the way this looks. I'm gonna click use this design, but let's say I wanted to make something a bit more specific. So instead of camper van, I'm gonna replace this with a name of a city or a town. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna type in Toronto, for example. And then at the top here, I'm gonna click that 
and you can move it, but you can also change the text itself. Simply double click it, and now you'll see the text comes up. So I'll just repeat that real quick. Double click it, and that moves in to the actual text editing feature. So what I could do now is I could say Canada on the road, click outside of it, and you'll see now the text pops up. I can make it larger, I can change it. There's all sorts of text features over on the right hand side. Keep in mind when you're using text features, there's two tabs at the top. There's your text features, and then there's also your, this A plus effects, your text effects, and you can affect things like shading. See how my Canada on the road now becomes shaded. I can change the angle of the shading. I can also change the outline width. There's all sorts of interesting things that you can do with text. Don't forget about text. To me, it's the great unsung hero inside of Kittle because there's so many different things you can do to instantly change your design and make it look fantastic. All right, tip number five is about sizing. And this is a common question I get is, how can I make these designs, these awesome templates, fit into something that is specific for say, display, Redbubble, Merch by Amazon, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna use this design here specifically for Merch by Amazon. So I'm gonna show you what the problem is. This is a great looking design. When I go to download it, I'm gonna see over here width and height. I'm gonna change this now to pixels. And we can see now when I change the width to 4500, the height is not 5400. So I can't use this as is for Merch by Amazon. In the design here, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna do Control A. That's gonna select everything. I'm now going to right click and copy. So I'm just copied everything off this design. Now I'm just gonna get out of the design. I'm gonna leave the page. I'm right back at the start. I'm gonna click new project over on the top right. And when I click new project over here and now on the right, I'm gonna pick width 4,500, height 5,400, and I'm going to click create. So now I've created a brand new design from scratch. And here's the key, control V pastes all of it in there. Now the background didn't come over, but I can change that pretty quick. I'm gonna scale this up by dragging it. I'm gonna move this into the middle. And now I'm gonna simply click the background, change the background to black. And just like that, I've got a design here now that I can use specifically for Merch by Amazon. I can change the sizing to fit exactly what I want. And you could even add some texture if you like by clicking texture. I'm gonna click grunge texture. We can see we're right back to the beginning. We just have it in a completely different size. Now when I go to download, we can see it's 4,500 by 5,400. I could change the DPI to 300 if I like. That'll make the design even bigger. So I would just have to go back and go 5,400, 4,500. And now I can download it as a PNG or a JPEG. Remember, if you're using this for a t-shirt, you probably don't want the background on here. So this background color is 100%. I'm just gonna change it to zero. Maybe I'll get rid of the grunge as well. I'll release the texture and I'll delete it. And now I can download this as a t-shirt design. I click download 4,500 by 5,400, 300, optimized quality, PNG and we're off to the races. I've got a great looking design now I can use. I really hope you found this video helpful. I absolutely love Kittle. I'm gonna put a link to Kittle in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you purchase the Kittle subscription, I would receive a small commission. I'm a big fan of Kittle and I love being an ambassador. I use them a lot and I do make sales using Kittle. I think it's a great superpower and you can level up your designs. Here's another video. Now you can supercharge your print on demand journey using the powers of Kittle.